Did you buy an online piano course and now you're wondering if you got the right one or why you're not getting the results you were hoping for? Or are you an adult pianist or piano student who's decided to finally get serious about playing the piano and you want to do it through an online course, but there's so many options available that you're feeling a bit overwhelmed, then you'll want to watch this video because I'm going to explain what you should look for in an online course and how to choose the right one for you. And once you've bought a course, how to make sure that you are successful with it. Hi everyone. Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. My name is Marina and I'm your best piano playing friend. I create tools you can use to reach your piano goals without years of struggle. All right, so let's get going. Since 2020, the online learning world has exploded. There are so many more options now than there ever were before and uh, it's growing. Like this is not slowing down. So I understand if as a person who just wants to play piano and enjoy it, if you're not sure where to start or which course is right for you. So when you're considering a piano online, there are two parts to this equation. There's the course part or the instructor part, and then there's the student part, which is you. I'll talk about the course or instructor part first. So let's just knock all the obvious things out for what to look for in an online piano course. Obviously, you want to find an instructor who plays like you want to play. And you want to find someone who teaches at a pace and using a system that appeals to you. That doesn't necessarily mean that you like them personally, although that really helps. What really matters is that what they're teaching makes sense to you and it's producing results as you go through the course. Now let's talk about the not so obvious things and the red flags you should look out for. When a course says learn to play piano, that is a meaningless phrase. Why is that? Because there are so many aspects to playing the piano. There is the intellectual or theoretical part where you learn about the note names or, or how to read music notation or how to build chords or how to build and play scales. So this is called music theory and it goes pretty deep. Like people actually get doctorate degrees in the area of music theory. Then there's the experiential part, which is actually doing the thing that you have learned about. So imagine if you were wanting to ride a bicycle, you could read about the parts of the bicycle and know how the mechanism works and you know, all the things that you have to watch out for before you hop on it, make sure the tires are inflated, that sort of thing, how to, how to come to a stop. Okay, you read all about that and you know it, but do you actually know how to ride a bike? No, you have to get on the bike and Find your balance, which means you'll probably fall a few times or you know, come close to falling, you'll put down your foot, but you won't immediately jump on that bike and go off and do the Tour de France, right? <laughs> There's a learning curve. So, but you do have to know how to brake, you do have to know how to turn, these sorts of things, and that's the theoretical knowledge. And it's very similar in playing the piano. So you want an instructor or a course that's going to tell you what aspect of playing the piano are you going to learn in this course. If a course promises you everything in one shot, stay away, stay far away. Even if you're just playing for fun, they're not going to teach you everything there is to playing the piano in one course because playing the piano is like putting together a jigsaw puzzle and you do it with one piece at a time learning to use the pedals, uh, learning technique, which is the physical ability to play the piano. This takes time to develop. So you might be saying, listen, Marina, I'm not trying to become a professional pianist. I just want to sit down at the end of a day and enjoy playing a few songs. Yes, I get it. So playing the piano is not as simple as playing the right notes. Let me ask you, how simple is the game of golf? All I have to do is get the ball into the hole. How hard can it be? Huh? All right. So the concept itself, getting the ball into the hole, we get it. 
but there are so many ways to not be able to do that and you have to know which clubs to use you know how to do the stroke how to aim and that sort of thing i think the wind has something to do with it the terrain has something to do with it same thing in piano it's not as simple as tell me where to put my fingers and i'll take care of it it really isn't you have to build up the communication between your brain and your muscles and your muscles have to then learn how to make those motions very similar to learning to speak a language just by reading it you don't get to learn to speak it you actually have to say the words and move your mouth and your tongue and around in order to shape those words okay so even if you just want to play for your own enjoyment there are still things that you have to learn about playing the piano. It's a pretty complex skill. So any course that says learn to play the piano in an X number of days or a certain number of lessons or things like that, they're just promising you things that they cannot deliver. Trust me, if there was a new and never before discovered way to learn the piano, all of us professionals would have found it by now <laughs> and we wouldn't still be you know spending hours uh, practicing and things like that so there is not a shortcut okay but there are ways to teach that make this information more understandable and more accessible to you and that's what you want to look for someone who clarifies these concepts and helps you understand them from your position of where you are right now so that you can take it step by step and learn how to play the piano. Do you wanna learn jazz? Do you wanna learn classical? Do you wanna to learn to play with chords and accompany yourself while you sing? There are so many different aspects to learning the piano. Do not fall for the hype of this is the only course you need. That is a waste of your time. Sometimes I see tutorials or even courses. Yes, I do buy piano courses because I'm really interested to see what people are teaching. And sometimes it'll be like the draw a reindeer kind of thing where they give you some very simple, basic concepts and movements. And then all of a sudden they jump to doing something pretty complicated and you don't know how they got there. That is actually the reason I started my YouTube channel because I kept finding tutorial after tutorial that was telling me I can teach you to play X, Y, and Z and I'd start the tutorial and go with it and then all of a sudden, whatever they were teaching was not the final product that they were showing me at the end. And I wanted to make sure that my channel did not do that. That's why I go into a really detailed explanations. The other thing you wanna look for in an online piano course is, are they just giving you information and then telling you to go practice? Okay, what does practicing mean? Do you think it means playing over and over? If you do, you're in for a very long and treacherous road without a great payoff at the end. So you want a course that not only gives you information, but tells you how to put that information to use, which means how to practice it so that it becomes a part of your knowledge and skill set. Another red flag to look for is um, courses telling you how many students they have. But notice, when they do that, they don't tell you how many people actually got the results that were promised. They just tell you how many people were in that course. We don't know if they had a really great marketing campaign or if they gave the course away for free in the beginning and so got a whole bunch of students. We don't know that. So don't fall for that number. It doesn't really tell you anything. Another thing not to fall for, and I know exactly who does this, so I will not name them, they use a, a pianist, a person who actually knows how to play the piano, and he pretends that he didn't know how to play until he started this program, and all of a sudden he can play. No, 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 <laughs> just no, okay? There's no like jumping ahead of the line. If they're gonna show you the results of a student, they need to show you how, how that student was playing at first and then over time document the process, okay? There's another guy that's selling his courses and he shows you what you should be able to do after a month, after six months, after a year or whatever, but he's the one playing all of it. So he's using all of his knowledge and skills to pretend to like, this is what you do. There's no way for him to guarantee that you're gonna do that, first of all, we don't know if you're actually going to do the work, right? And we don't know what challenges you're facing. 
like time constraints or maybe you have some physical impairment that keeps you from being able to play as well as that person, who knows? But if he's telling you that's what you're gonna get at the end of six months, run far away from that course. Now the other part of this equation is you, the student. So you've bought the course, did you buy the right course? Did you want the course that taught you how to move your hands at the piano or, or did you want the course that taught you how to read music? You have to make the selection based on what your goals are. So choose the right course. The other thing is make sure that you're actually following what the teacher tells you to do, not your version of it. If you have signed up for a course, just go in the order that the lessons are presented unless the teacher tells you otherwise, but most of us do um, put the system together with some kind of logic that makes sense from our end, not necessarily from your end because we know the nuances, we see, you know, the, the, we see the bigger pictures that you may not see. So you wanna make sure that you're following the course in the order that it's given and that you're doing what the instructor tells you to do. Don't skip things, don't half, you know, halfway them, actually do the work. And do the work consistently. If you're doing your piano course once a week, you're not going to make gains the same way that you would if you're doing a little bit every day or every other day. The other thing is manage your expectations. I know we all want the results fast. I also want the results fast whenever I learn something or do something, but <laughs> that doesn't mean you're gonna get it. You have to know that there is a process to these things. So um, I have sometimes have had students that take lessons with me, adults, who take three or four lessons and then they tell me they've lost motivation or they're not sure that they wanna do this. And I say, why? And they say, well, I'm not seeing the results yet. Yeah, it takes time. And the results may be smaller than what you're thinking. Maybe you thought that in you know two months you'd be able to play like someone who's been playing for 10 years consistently, right? Maybe you thought the process was gonna go a lot faster and so now you're disappointed. I'll just tell you, learning the piano, again, even if you're just doing it for fun, it takes time, it takes consistent and deliberate effort, and it takes using the right system of learning. You have to know how to practice this stuff. And again, repeating over and over is not practicing. I wrote a book you can read if you're interested that explains all this stuff to you and gives you ways to practice that actually produce specific results. Now I do know that you can get great results with online courses. I've taken many and continue to, to take many online courses because I like to learn. Um, but you have to make sure that all of these conditions are uh, taken into account before you sign up for the course and after you sign up for the course. So remember, just buying a course does not give you your results. You have to buy the correct course for you from the teacher that, that you resonate with and you have to do the work. And if you have questions, you should be able to contact that instructor. Hope that was helpful. Keep practicing, have fun, and I will see you soon. Bye.